गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फेरराइट डिवाइज वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फेरराइट मेटीरियल्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द फेरराइट मेटीरियल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फेरडे रोटेशन इन फेरराइट सो दीज टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो so ferrite is a non metallic material with high resistivity that is 10 power 14 times resistivity greater than that of a metal so and it is having relative permeability of 10 to 15 and permeability of almost 1000 so these are the uh, properties uh, which are very very useful for microwave engineering and they have magnetic property similar to ferrous materials so basically they are oxide based compounds having general composition of the form meo fe2o3 so this is a uh, composition uh, oxide based compounds so where uh, this ferrite find applications in number of microwave devices to reduce reflected power so this is a uh, very very Uh, useful uh, for our micro devices when we are sending power from one port to the other port there is a possibility of reflected power uh, in those uh, wave guides and ports so these materials uh, will be having advantages to address those issues so that's why in micro devices uh, these ferro materials are having a lot of importance and applications so here Uh, these ferrites are obtained by firing powdered oxides of materials at very high temperature that is 1100 degrees centigrade or more and that is going to be pressed them into a different shapes that is how uh, the devices are going to be uh, fabricated so ferrites have atoms with large number of spinning electrons resulting in strong magnetic property the magnetic properties are due to dipole moment associated with each electron spin this is very very important statement in many competitive exams they have asked uh, questions based on this particular uh, point so basically these atoms are having large number of spinning electrons resulting a strong magnetic field or strong magnetic property so this property is due to the dipole moment associated with each electron spin and also because of the high resistivity so we can use it up to 100 gigahertz frequency that means wherever you are working uh, high frequencies in microwave so we can use uh, these particular materials or devices up to 100 gigahertz frequency and the most important property is ferrites have important property that is non reciprocal property very very important in the last classes in the last uh, videos so we have seen e plane t h plane t magic t applications of magic t directional coupler so in those uh, topics we have discussed the properties of s matrix so in that we have written conditions for symmetry and condition for reciprocal so here whenever we are dealing with these ferrets so we have to remember that so these are having non reciprocal property so here uh, there is one important uh, property uh, in ferrite that is called as faraday rotation so very very useful uh, property so here the plane of polarization of the wave rotate with distance the phenomena is known as faraday rotation that means the plane of polarization of wave rotates with angle with respect to the distance this particular phenomena is called as faraday rotation so based on this particular phenomena so we are going to discuss uh, multiple uh, co microwave components in the upcoming uh, video lectures so please uh, understand uh, the meaning of uh, the faraday rotation so here as we are saying the wave is going to be rotated with distance so we need to understand so the angle of rotation is independent of direction of motion so this is important statement 
हियर द रोटेटेड एंगल और रोटेशन ऑफ एंगल इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन बट इट डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन टोटल लेंथ ट्रेवल्ड बाय द वेव इन द फेरेट रॉड सो हियर सो दिस टीटा सपोज इफ लेट्स अज्यूम टीटा इज द रोटेशन एंगल फॉर द गिवन इनपुट ऑफ प्लेन वेव विथ पोलराइजेशन so that theta is going to be depending only with respect to the uh, length of the uh, wave Le length of the uh, ferrite rod but not uh, on the direction of the motion so here we have written so let's assume uh, this is a ferrite rod having two ports port number 1 and port number 2 so here and in case of ferrite rod this arrow mark will indicates the rotation of the wave direction when it is when the wave is passing through the ferrite rod so here there are two possibilities if you are giving input at port 1 and if you measure output at port number 2 then so here the wave which is transmitted from port 1 to port 2 will undergo rotation in anti clockwise with theta that means if i am having a input here at port 1 when you are moving from port 1 to port 2 that means moving from left to right then this wave is going to undergo a rotation with the angle theta in the anti clockwise direction that is first case suppose let's assume so if you give input at port number 2 and if you measure output at port number 1 then in that case also the wave is going to undergo anti clockwise direction only that means when you are moving from left to right in a ferrite in a ferrite rod or from right to left then the angle of rotation is always anti clockwise only so here if you assume suppose if input is given here at port number 2 then if you are moving towards port number 1 that is moving from right to left so you can see here the moment will be with respect to theta in anti clockwise direction this is a very very important property and this faraday rotation uh, phenomena and the property of this ferrite rod rotation angle that we are going to apply everywhere in three major microwave components that are based on ferrite they are gyrators isolators and circulators so summary is so these ferrites are non metallic materials meo fe2o3 is a material and it is having 10 to the power 14 Uh, more than 10 to the power 14 times of the metals and epsilon r value is between 10 to 15 and mu r is 1000 and these are non reciprocal components and the plane of polarization of wave rotate with distance which is we are giving as faraday rotation and if you want to find out the angle of rotation theta then this is the formula Uh, we can use it that is theta is equal to l by 2 into beta plus minus beta minus where l is the length of the ferrite rod we can see here this l is the length of the ferrite rod and beta plus is phase shift of the right circularly polarized wave and beta minus is phase shift of the left circularly polarized wave this basically this expression will be used for finding the angle theta how much the wave is rotated for that we can use this particular expression so this is about the uh, basic properties of uh, ferrite materials and what is faraday rotation and what are the advantages of these ferrite materials and what is the moment of uh, uh, angle uh, in when you are moving from left to right or right to left uh, with what angle it is going to be uh, having direction that we have discussed in this particular uh, video so in the next class we are going to see uh, in detail Uh, discussion about uh, the working principle of the gyrator advantages of the gyrator and the applications of the gyrator so thank you uh, have a nice day